Hi guys, uh, this is my new channel. Um, I've got another one at Josh Explains It All, a little different than this. This one's going to be primarily geared towards RC stuff. Um, probably some real car stuff, um, definitely some real car stuff. Maybe a little tractor, lawnmower, stuff with engines, stuff with motors. So, I used to race RC back in the day, about 13, 14 years ago, and getting a little older, want a little hobby to do, and you know, something to get back into. So, I've got an Emacs I need to work on, and I've got a, uh, a uh, HPI Sprint 2 that I also got to work on. Got some parts for them. I'll be doing videos with those too. Um, so, the first new car I bought, I did a lot of research. I didn't want to buy anything stupid, crazy expensive or anything, so I got this. WL Toys uh, 10 4001. Um, temp scale buggy. Um, four wheel drive, uh, brushed, ready to run. Um, got this on eBay for little next to nothing. So, um, we're going to do a little unboxing. Here we go. Already looked at it once. It is a very nice looking car. I'll give it that. For the price, I was pretty impressed. Um, little kind of crappy charger. Um, comes with, here's the wing inside there, user manual, wheel wrench. Hey, it looks like some little parts in there, maybe some like arm ends, some screws. That, that's actually nice. I mean, hey, I, I, I'm not saying no to extra parts. Maybe a shock end. No, it's not a shock end. What is that? Anyhow, a couple of parts, standard stuff. But here we are. What we, what we came to look at is the buggy. A couple little cardboard pieces and the buggy itself look at that that is pretty that's a nice looking buggy now look at there I don't know if you can see it in the video but I can tell that that is shock oil on the front and back yay yay so there she is straight out yep definitely some shock holds on the bottom there well we may have to put some o-rings in we'll we'll have to see what we got oh good lord i don't know if those front shocks have any in them back shocks don't feel as bad but they have the bigger spot go figure yeah we will definitely be checking o-rings and uh yeah, definitely, definitely low. Definitely low. But, so, I already actually opened it earlier just to take a look and unstrap the battery. I was curious about something. But, so, something I didn't notice, and if you're just now watching this and you're interested in one of these, you'll know it. Little, little body, a little on the thin side. But, I mean, you know, I got this thing for 100 bucks. What can you expect? So, one thing I did notice, I had to took the battery out. The battery is very small. The part for the battery is very small. Um, it's a 2200 milliamp hour. Um, I mean, nothing to write home about. Two cell. And uh, Dean's plug connectors like that. And my, fa I've always, my favorite's always been Dean's plugs. Um... Pinions set right on the drivetrain. I looked at all this before I got the buggy. Um, and uh, this this is all fixed and be replaced. I have a four pole brushless ready to go in it. And I know I'm probably going to destroy that spur gear, that pinion gear. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, for, for what I've been watching and stuff, it's not a bad truck for the money. I've heard replace the servo. We'll do all that later. This is, you know, this is just something fun for me to get back in the hobby. One of the first mods I'm going to do to it, because I've already seen enough and I wanted to show this on video. This chassis is quite flexible. See that? I'll have to zoom in and make sure, but it could definitely use some braces right there. Um, Maker Fire has some that are uh, carbon and looks like they'll do the job just like they're supposed to. Um, 
probably get them ordered pretty quick. Shock Tower's pretty strong. I mean, they're they're all good metal quality. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have good good service out of them. The wheels, no foam inside. Kind of saw like that's gonna balloon with a that's gonna balloon good with no foam in it and a brushless system on it. So, but I've already seen wheels that are ridiculously well priced. Um, as compared to the hobby 14, 15 years ago, and everything was so expensive. Are they glued? Yeah, they're actually pre-glued, so that's good. I don't got a glue. I can take it out and start bashing here in a second. Um, I've heard the battery comes pretty, pretty well charged. Um, but yeah, there she is. I mean, again, entry-level buggy, something you can build on. I, I've looked, they already make metal... You know, the metal pinion gears, they already make, um, I've seen some beefed up dog bones. Um, hell's, yeah, pretty smooth. A little bit of tire wobble there. Oh, a little bit more there. We may shim that up. And, I can feel a little tiny bit of gear mesh, like the, you know, the, and they're touching each other's not it's not you know this isn't a low c or team associated racing buggy this is something fun for in the yard so yeah i mean other than that let's get the remote out i've got a spectrum inside that's fixing to take the place of this but you know just to play with it for this one day <sighs> Uh, cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. It feels cheap. It looks cheap. It is cheap. Um, throttle trim, steering trim, and that is all you get. All right. But, I mean, again, $100 buggy. I've seen them, the normal price is like $130. Um, I actually picked this up for a little cheaper. Um, just left it in my buggy and the seller made an offer and I took it. But, uh, I mean, still, even if you pay the full price, $130, I don't, you're not losing out here. This is not a bad deal. Uh, brushed motor. From what I've understood, it's a 16-turn motor. Got a nice little heat sink on there. Fan on the ESC. I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. Like, it, it, it's funny that these companies make, you know, this is probably a copy of something. You know, that, that's, a, that's the way it goes in a lot of China. But... I mean, they did a really decent copy and they did some things that, you know, were nice to have. Like, you know, some, like, this is not going to be, you know, winning any huge races or anything, but some kid out in the yard playing with it's going to love the crap out of this. You know, break one of these arms. They're cheap. I, I saw the entire suspension, everything, hubs, steering knuckles, everything, all of it in aluminum for like $70, the entire thing. It even has better shock arms, um, shock towers. Like, it, this is, this is crazy from what I came from in RC. Um, this, like, I spent more on a roller used buggy than I paid for this thing, and I mean, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. In today's economy, I guess it'd be a good thing. But um, one thing, I'm definitely not using a 2200. I got some 5200s here. I'm going to take that out, maybe move it down. We'll, we'll see what I can do with it. But I, I figured it out. It has got just enough room to fit in there sideways like that. Because, um, yeah, I'm not using a 2200 milliamp battery. Get out of here. But uh, let's uh, let's put it back together. Do a little driving around. See what it does. <laughs> I'll give it. I'll give it. It has some power for a little brushless system. I had a little had a little lost connection there for a second on the remote. I've I've actually seen some videos where. That, that was a thing that people talked about. The remote is just not great. Oh, big boy. <laughs> Got it in the ground. This thing is a, is a pretty good little ride for, for 100 bucks. I mean, good gosh, that is planted for 100 bucks. 
No, I haven't put the wing on and I was losing daylight here, so. Oh, it took a big spill. Took that spill just fine. Now I've heard people say that uh, that 25, 24, 25 mile an hour, that looks about right. Ooh, man, I am rusty with these. Straight up. But, I'll give it a, a lot faster than any uh, brush, brush that, you know, ready to run kits that when I was playing with them, when I was running, like I mean brush kits, you know, brushless was just getting big and oh yeah. Oh, big. <laughs> and just like I thought, um, ran through that little quack, that little pack quite quickly. Yeah. So, I mean, but I took a few pretty decent spills on that first run. Flipped it in the road once. That's nice. Go ahead and get some scruffs and scratches on it. But, uh, overall, yeah, I mean, this is a good, you know, again, you're not, you're not going and winning national championships with this, but like, this is, this is fun. When I get a, some better tires and, um, a brushless system in it, this is going to be a lot of fun. Probably start breaking things. Then we'll be, you know, having fun, having fun taking the stuff apart. Now, eh, I do notice all the hardware is, is Phillips. Eh, you know, I guess like it's gonna come with the territory. A cheap buggy is gonna have cheap hardware, and something super universal like that. But again, I'm not complaining. It this is I've spent more on you know kind of crappy motors than this thing costs. But uh, yeah, overall, overall can't complain. Um, I'll be making more videos with it, putting stuff in. I'll make videos when I put my spectrum in it. When I put the uh, the Brussels system in it, and we'll, we'll see what we can do with it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.